Jim's father had committed suicide um, in 1998. Um, his mother had died of cancer, and I got that wrong the other night, I'm sorry for that, um, uh, uh, several years before. Um, the date that uh, Jim's father disappeared prior to his uh, substance, uh, or prior to his suicide, was actually the date that J uh, Jim's house was lit on fire. That's the anniversary mm -hmm. date. Um, the date of his father's suicide is tomorrow. So at this right, point, so that, that clearly, um, that clearly could point to, to some kind of motive yeah. and some kind of psychological it's, trauma. Well, it's bone chilling uh, information when I heard it that potentially he's had a plan. I'm often in my practice and working with cli clients uh, who have had psychological problems and trauma in their past, um, and they make a suicide pack or plan that they've hidden from other people. It relates very much to anniversaries of the traumatic event. And I think that's very much what we're seeing here is that there might be a possible link between um, the anniversary date of his father's disappearance and eventual suicide um, and the date of the burning of the house, and now hopefully not, um, but possibly a suicide of his own uh, tomorrow. And uh, to have a countdown like that is just bone chilling. It is bone chilling. Uh, you've been camping many times with James DiMaggio. Can he survive pretty easily in that kind of terrain from your experience? Uh, no, and that's one of the things that, you know, has got me more concerned. It's, and, you know, with a small backpack, they're only looking at several days of being in the woods. He obviously didn't prepare for a long period of hiding out. Um, and that would coincide with these dates and times that um, I've been able to discover. Um, so. Uh